Okay, uh, this match now just started. Sorry, we missed the flip and we missed the rack and all that good stuff. But anyway, this is Justin Marks versus John Schmidt playing uh, Race to Two from the one loss side. We just saw John Schmidt lose to Santos Sampajon on the winner's side. And we're playing down to the final six players today. So uh, good luck to both guys. Uh, we also have Paul Joko and uh, Brandon Schuff. We also have Jerry Matchin and Damien Alishan grinding away. We're going to play down to the final six players today. And this is uh, a race to two. This is John Schmidt versus Justin Marks. Just uh, once again, I just want to hammer that into your brains, folks. It's a race to two. I don't know. I'm just. I feel compelled to do that right now. I just feel like hammering. Wow. Well, I'm sure the three goes. It I don't looks know much. Like the nine. I, I don't know goes. anything about this guy, Justin. Do you? I've seen him around. I've. Well, I've I think he plays pretty well. He, he must be doing all right if he's. Well, he's given up a ball to John. He could still shoot the 15 ball. Could slow roll the 15 ball and come over by the 12. Shooting at the two ball, uh, uh, Truman, and he's sold out the 10. You know why? Because he started to smell the blood. <laughs> yeah. I'll be right also, back, Truman. Sure. Just uh, ha hang there. Sure. You guys still hear me? Um, basically, uh, I, you know what happens. I, 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 my intuition is just that John is assuming that if he doesn't know who this guy is, that he's just going to be able to beat him. But, you know, people run eight here, so you got. it doesn't matter who it is. If they can run eight, they can beat anybody. say this is exactly an easy shot. John's decided he's shooting. All right, I agree with this. It's a hard shot. When it's that close to the to the uh, knuckle of the corner pocket, you could always wind up inadvertently doubling the pocket. I don't think that one was that close to it, but. play the six ball off the nine ball here. I mean, obviously he's not, but I'm surprised. I thought the six off the nine laid good and it dealt with uh, the nine ball, which is a little bit of a problem because it, it obstructs anything else from going in his pocket.
Jesus does take quite a good hit. He can come off the four and just get to the side rail. I think this is a smarter shot. Doesn't require as perfect of a stroke. smart to leave the ball there because he can use that ball later. Now John needs to figure out a way to disturb that 9-1. Whether he makes a 15 or not isn't that important. It's just disturbing that 9-1 that really matters. He could have done that before. Well, that solves that. One ball, probably run into the 11. Nope, going into the six. Now he goes into the 11. Game looks pretty over. This ball rolled out when Santo shot it, so. Okay. That didn't roll out. Nope, that didn't roll out. One nothing, Schmitty. big risk with uh, the new cloth is that the ball doesn't curve in and you hit the second ball really full and you sell out. So let's see if he, uh, no, he did just fine. I guess John's just in a mood to play some straight pool. Hey, he'll bump the nine and then get a shot on the six. Seven ball goes. It's all academic from there. Lots inside. Got a little too straight. He'll have to draw back, and he's got a little. He's got it. There's a chance he'll run into the four. He might have to get on to 13 ball. That looked difficult. John needs two.
Just going to try and bank this and get a little bit of action. Uh, I don't know why he's banking it that way. Maybe he wanted to block John on everything, but I mean... Probably go through the 13 ball. I've heard this guy shoots really straight. I mean, it's it's tough when you're playing somebody like John because uh, they, you know, they make you look a lot weaker than you are. They don't give you the opportunities to get started you might be a little intimidated but um, I, I wouldn't assume that that uh, he's not a good player he, it's just uh, hard to play people like John on the contrary I saw him play he's really that good. yeah that's what I figured he plays pretty sporty so I have it on so-so uh, authority that he plays really well so-so that's right Might cut this spot shot in if the five ball doesn't block him. And he could even go around the ten. Basically got to cooperate with John here. I don't see anything offensive he can do. And not only that, he, he can't even get the cue ball back to the end rail without taking a big risk. Now this is a bad shot. That's going to be his last shot of the game. John can float the four in, not even sell out the five. Oh, it skidded. Did that ball skid? Any of you guys think that ball skidded? Well, I've heard that he shoots really straight, so now we get a chance to see how he plays. That was a nice opening shot. Of course, he's not going to have anything easy. Um, that That's a nice, smart shot, except for he left him straight in on the 14 ball. John's got an angle to where he can glue the cue ball up to the 10 and 11 ball after he lags the ball in, or he could just float forward. Oh. Even, even more painful. I didn't see that shot. That was a smarter shot than I saw.
two railing the three ball. Playing the cue ball over near the 12-4 because it's safe over there. Might have made it. John might just have to shoot the 11 ball. As long as you don't hit it thick, it's easy. Wow. Who thought the tables rolled that straight? Three ball. Oh. Wow. Well, he's ran some nice shots, cut that ball enough, played it with inside. He's got a shot on the 11. If he hits this nicely, he can get on the, oh, well, not a foul. <laughs> I guess he's two railing the four ball. spot because he can't if he banks the four he can only hit a percentage of the 11 ball otherwise one of them stays there and then he might get a collision now that's a smart shot look at that shot well done Probably come off the 12. Oh, he's Okay, I'm back, so I'll, I'll update the scoreboard for you. What's the score? Do you know? Uh, John needs one, right? He needs two. He needs two? Which would mean... Uh, uh, two. Oh, okay. No, he needs one. The set's over. One. The yeah. set is over? Yeah. Oh my gosh. Okay. Well. 2 0, John Schmidt beats Justin Marks. Yeah. Congrats yeah. to uh, John Schmidt, who uh, remains to play. And uh, thank you to Justin Marks. Justin's a good player. We didn't really get a chance to see enough of him. He was in a tough match, but I mean, you can already tell he's a smart thinking player. He shoots straight, he uh -huh. shot smart shots. Um, you know, just not an ideal circumstance to showcase what his talent level is. Well, with that being said, I'm going to toggle over now to uh, uh, a match in progress between Paul Joko and Brandon Schuff. Thanks for watching POV Pool today.
Uh, we're not done yet, so stick around. Streams buffering. Yeah. Oh, Damien won. Damien beat uh, Jerry Matcher. Mm -hmm. 